Right, welcome back to the Monmouthshire. Front nine's done. Three par fives on the front. Back nine, got a lot of par threes. Two of them quite long if memory serves from looking on the card. Now, it's going grey and it doesn't look it, but it is incredibly humid right now. Yeah, we're due a storm later, so uh, let's not hang about, let's crack on. This is a pretty tight target to start the back nine with. Bunkers left and right, and very narrow with it too. <laughs> what a bounce! Oh, that's bounced in from off the bunker, but uh, I think it's gone long. I'm struggling for, for the pace today. I'm either knocking them by or leaving them short. Right, the next hole, I had a glance as I walked past because the tee's all the way back here, back towards the 10th uh, the tee. I can't see where the hole goes, so uh, just have to try my best. Well, I don't know where I'm going here and the game in front is already out of sight, so I'm not entirely sure where to go. And I have a funny feeling that isn't it. Now before you congratulate me on getting close to the flag, let's point out I had no control over that 7-iron. It just is pure coincidence that the flag is at the back of the green where the ball finished. The flag had been down the front, I'd had it. Well, now I know that all the space is out to the left, Next time I'll go down the damn left. But what a field goal between the two poplars, eh? The first of the long par threes. Now that is a peach of a shot. And I've hardly missed my target by anything. Just a few feet. Just caught the lip of the bunker and went all the way to the back. But there's sand in this one, so I got a chance. <laughs> yeah so it's out of bounds all the way down the left so I aim at the out of bounds and just hit the slider that didn't slide very much but it's it's on the golf course well this is difficult I'm on quite an upslope here struggle to get through the ball properly so I close the face and you know where that's going to end up don't you and this is a bare lie so uh, par's gone for a Burton And 
nice downhill par three. I like downhill par threes. Just push this to the right. Yeah, I got a little push going with the irons occasionally, not all the time, just occasionally. This chip looks a lot harder than it is. It's actually a piece of cake. Just pop it up onto the fringe and it will run out all the way to the flag. That's an easy par. A few of these holes you've got to walk back to get to the tee from the previous green. Um, I don't know much about this hole other than I gotta stay left and I'm feeling a little tired now. Yeah, that landed in the fairway and it bounced right 35 to 40 yards. I hope I find that. little message for Matt when it's good it's really good just got to iron out a few more wrinkles mate see you in a couple of weeks not sure why I left a message for Matt there because I'll be on my fourth lesson by the time he sees this couldn't work out why this was stroke one but the green is very narrow and very well protected so uh, it was a good shot to find it and the second long par three, five wood again, same as the previous one. And where does that come from? I haven't done that all day, but that's horrid. The standard bump and run with a pitching wedge, but that's that's short pace. And this is one inch shorter pace. Well, I'm not too sure where this goes. There's a stick on the hill. I've got to go over the driveway that goes from the clubhouse to the main road. And it's uphill, and I'm shattered. And I'll have to wait for the cars in a minute. Well, this is straightforward for me, really, once the cars are out of the way. Just got to drive it up the left and hit a little fade, and it'll go on the wind. But I'm not aiming left, so the little fade isn't going to end up in the fairway. But it's a good hit all the same. Now the flag is towards the back and it's just over the shoulder of that bunker, so I'm going for the middle of the green here. Little punchy pitching wedge lands on the front. Good grief. Well, I can't believe that. I've pitched at the front. It's gone off the back. Well, I'm four and a half feet from being in the bush. Three feet from having no backswing. Um, and there's a huge amount of disappointment. I was expecting this to be on the green, maybe 15 feet, got a birdie chance. But when you don't get what you want, you just got to knuckle down and finish the hole. And try not to throw your toys out the pram or your clubs in a bush. I 
tell you, that storm's coming. I'm absolutely soaked through with sweat. It is so humid right now. I'm going to um, dispense with my usual bogey in front of the clubhouse. It certainly helps that the last hole is a par five, I think. So uh, I'll see cheerio. I've really enjoyed this despite some of the uh, things I didn't like, but you know, you're not going to like everything everywhere you go. Bye for now. 18, the final par 5. There's a fairway bunker down the left. The wind is into and off the right, so we go with the fade. And it just kind of like hangs out there. But as I'm walking to the ball, I actually walk past two fairway bunkers on the right, so I'm, I'm very grateful to be here. Not the greatest of lies, so I'm going with a trusty club. And I block that into the trees, which... It's a good thing, because it's all out of bounds down there, right next to the clubhouse. 75 yards, between two trees, up a bank, onto the green. You know this one's going to be a par, don't you? Well, I'm done. That is the end of the Monmouthshire courses. God, it's so humid today. I'm absolutely shattered. I wasn't expecting those hills. I thought this was a flat course, but I guess it makes it interesting. Now, I said at Monmouth that I was going to choose my favourite course and go back and play it. And I'm not going to do that. Firstly, I'm running out of annual leave. Secondly, I've run out of money. Yeah, I've, I've kind of like overspent this year on golf, so I, I don't think I can justify spending any more. Um, and how do you choose? Out of the courses I've played, the Rolls of Monmouth, Woodlake Park, Monmouth, West Monmouthshire, and the Monmouthshire. How do I choose? The only thing I'm going to say is West Monmouthshire really surprised me. I've played a lot of hilltop courses and they tend to have two things in common. Firstly, the fairways are poor because the grass doesn't grow up on the hill. And sometimes the, the greens are rock hard because they've got no irrigation up on the hill. West Monmouthshire was neither of those two things. The fairways were fantastic, the greens were really good and they were soft and they would take a ball. Um, if you think of all the golf courses I've played in 33 years from America, the British Isles, Europe, Thailand, all the par threes I've played, you know the 10th, the 16th and the 17th at West Monmouthshire, the highest course in the United Kingdom. They were outstanding. And some of the holes, you know, the par fours, the par fives, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was the ninth. The one with the outer bounds all the way down the right hand side. You had heavy rough left if you chickened out. The wind was left to right. And you just had to stand up there and hit one. And I did. Heart of the fairway. Um, so many good holes. It was such a surprise and um, I was a bit emotional at times up there on that hill. It, it was just so good. So, um, and it was 15 pounds. 15. So if I was to hand a recommendation to you, um, go and play West Monmouthshire. Go and play the highest course in the UK. Rolls and Monmouth has always been a favourite. I've been going there since the mid 90s. It, it's a grand estate course and it's got pedigree. Woodlake Park, nice wide fairways, bit of a climb up the eighth. You might want to hire a buggy for the day, but 
a great golf course. This place, a very, very pretty course. Front nine, probably better than the back nine. Back nine, there was a couple of blind shots that I made a mess of. And those two long par threes, which were incredibly difficult. And finally, Monmouth itself. That course requires some learning, so I hope you've watched that video and then you might do better from watching my mistakes. Worth a trip going, now I know where I need to go. It might be worth a trip back, perhaps next year or the year after or whatever. But I've really enjoyed doing this series and I really hope that you've enjoyed watching them. Now I'm gagging for a drink, so I'm going to go get a drink. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do in the next video. I think all I want to do is have a drink, have a shower and have a sleep. Cheerio and thanks for watching.